And what does that even mean, to be English? What, what on earth does being English mean? Please, someone tell me. <laughs> England is f***ed you. Hard. It's almost a metaphor for kind of where we are now and how, more importantly, more specifically, how Britain views itself. I mean, we're all out living and breathing a post-Brexit world and that's going to and that's going to continue for many many years to come the nation that is changing whether it likes it or not but that's what this country does to you doesn't it our great britain makes you a coward makes you weak because it takes away your your autonomy and the little control it leaves you you ain't even sure how to use i think that's kind of what michael and fidel were. i think that's what's been driving them whether they realize it or not it's like you know who are we as brits as english people now and you know, how, how English are we? How English are we with each other? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I'm sure they'll be interested too. Michael um, is a white working class male who um, is the best friend of Delroy, a black working class male. Uh, they grew up together, went to the same school and have more in common than not, except the colour difference. Michael, my best mate who I love as a brother. And I don't think there's ever been a time, day or place where I haven't wanted to batter the living out of him. Uh, Michael's family are um, still, still racist and um, he has to try and uh, navigate his relationship with Delroy, with this side of himself and his family. My dad had tendencies. Tendencies? He was of a certain generation. generation. He's lower in Englishness. Yeah, he means racist generation. You could say that. Yeah, I did. I just said that. For Delroy, he has the issue of uh, falling in love with Michael's sister and um, being a black Brit and feeling as though he's a complete outsider whilst obviously really understanding what it feels to be British. Delroy here dates my sister. Now, Anyone with a sister knows technically that is a red card offence right there. My sister, you know, troubling my blood with his things. See, I can't even all now see straight when I say that. Even though I know he's good for her, even if I have pushed them together at points, it's still a thing. It is. I think the desire for stories that talk into what the last year or so has been, I don't necessarily mean talking about COVID, but just the spirit of, of the evolutionary aspects of, of being locked in and uh, George Floyd and obviously Brexit and just, you know, we all feel undoubtedly changed and I think we're, to have that reflected back at us through live art will always be something that we will desire and need. Your history <laughs> is our history. So we're going to do this. Or not.